Okay, I've already taken the panel off of this 2007 Chrysler Town & Country. What's happened is the uh, little servo for the locks has died on the passenger side. So if I lock it, nothing happens. You can see the cable shake just a little bit, but not enough to actually unlock it. So we're going to try to replace the motor. It's going to be behind that uh, noise deadening block, this black styrofoam right there. This particular door will be difficult because there's no actual access screw to take that off. I have to go through the uh, outside end of that door to get to it. Let's go. Okay, here's the new motor. Uh, it was actually 1999 with free shipping. Um, took about maybe three or four days to get here. Um, it comes with two arms. The They're color-coded, which is convenient. The red is for the driver's side door and the green arm is for the passenger side door so I am going to have to swap that out that'll be my next step okay so on this particular side for whatever reason there's no access to the uh, the screw to take out the old uh, power door lock so I have to take out these three mounts and take the entire door lock component out so we'll give that a shot probably won't be able to see this in this light, but uh, I have to use a, a T30 uh, to get that door mount off. So this is the T30. I'm just going to try to do it by hand. Okay, so what I did is I loosened the uh, three T30 um, bolts that are on accessed from the uh, outside of the sliding door. I didn't take them all the way off because I didn't want everything just to drop down. Um, I'm going to try to see if there's enough clearance for me to pull this forward. There's one tiny screw that holds in this motor. I'm going to see if I can access it. And if I can't, I'll go ahead and take those T30s completely out, drop the whole door assembly out, and take a look at it. Okay, that was unsuccessful, so I had to take the T30s completely out. And now this whole door assembly should come out in my hands. And then uh, there's one little screw. There's no access. This hole does not line up with it, so it's way back in here. So I'll have to take that screw off, put in the new motor. Okay, now I'm taking the whole assembly out. It was kind of a pain in the butt. The uh, door lock rod connects to a little uh, swing arm and did not want to come off on the, uh, the back side here. I was trying to pull it, trying to get it to come straight up. Had to uh, use a screwdriver, ended up, I think, cracking the plastic a little bit, but that's okay. The new piece replaces that. I've got the whole assembly out. There's one little tiny screw right there that holds the whole thing in. Um, and then for the life of me, I don't know why they did not make uh, an access hole because you have to take the whole assembly out and that's going to be a pain trying to put it back. Um, I have a little helper here helping me that wants to be shown. Evelyn, uh, are you helping dad? Yeah. Thank you, baby. Okay, the one screw that was here um, ended up being a, a T15. Now the, uh, the outside door ones I think were T30s and this one is a, a T15, which is a super tiny, tiny one. So pull that out. I'm going to put the, uh, connect the new motor first, test it before I put it all back together. Okay, I don't know if it helped, but I, uh, Opened up the fuse box, found the one labeled IOD, pulled it out for about 30 seconds, put it back in, and now, for whatever reason, <laughs> it's working. So I might need to uh, replace that particular fuse, or it's a coincidence. It seems to be working. Just for a test, I'm going to put the old one back on just to see what happens. Okay, I put the old one back on. Yeah, I can see it doesn't have the travel as the new one does, so. Okay, so it seems like it was a combination of replacing it and uh, just resetting the fuse, Yeah, I, I put the old one back on. Yeah, I can see it doesn't have the travel as the new one does, so. Okay, so it seems like it was a combination of replacing it and uh, just resetting the fuse, I guess. One more good test.
but looks like it's working. I'm gonna try to stick it in here now. There we go. Try it once while it's assembled. Appears to be working. Okay. But I don't see that. Thing. Oh, that uh, this bar isn't con actually connected yet. Okay, so I need the uh, the tiny screw. The tiny gold one. Yeah. And then I need a T15. Okay, I'll try very carefully not to drop this. Okay, so that's in there pretty tight. Okay, now. Shove it back in there. Yeah, I gotta try to. It's probably the hardest part. Be nice and slow yeah, and patient. Can you try to screw one of those in and see if it lines up? Just do it with your hands. Does it look like it has the holes lined up? Let Maybe me know if... You just moved it. They were like just a little lower. Okay. Uh-huh. Good job, kiddo. It's good to have a helper doing this. Mm -hmm. Just enough to hold it up. And I'll hand you another one in a second. Here we go. Does it look like it's holding it on? Okay, here's another one. Yeah. Well, we're going to tighten it up with uh, the tools. So let's see if we can see my helper back there. Is it lining up okay? Or the other side. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks for really helping. Good. Okay, so these are the the T thirties. We're gonna I'm tighten gonna those up. I'm gonna put them in with my hands. Yep. So you can do them Let's them tighten those up. Okay, you can let go of the door. It's not gonna go all the way shut. You can just let go of it, and then go ahead and find a spot because I need to sit where you are. Okay. okay. Uh, yes, you're my good assistant. Okay, now we need to put this bar in there, so let's try that. Okay, I've just replaced the bar. Got that connected on there. So we'll test it. There we go. Uh, let's put the sound deadening block back in there. Upside down? I can't remember. No, I think it went this way. Okay, that's on there. I'm gonna put the water barrier back where it should be. Okay, and then before we put something goes right there. Yep. yep, and then let's go wash our hands before we put the plastic panel back on so we don't break okay. it. We don't make I'm gonna see if I can get this panel and put gloves on so I don't get grease everywhere. I'm gonna see if I can mostly line this up first. Snap in. So she's using the mallet. Put those in all the 
way. Now it's almost done, but up there, we need to touch that piece. Just checking for any loose spots. Yep. It feels like it's in here pretty good. I think they're mostly around the edges. Right. Because it doesn't really matter how the middle is. It's only really around the edges, so it doesn't like pop up. Oh, okay, so that feels good. Let's go ahead yeah. and test the door again. There we go, okay. Do you want to try to put this piece on, or do you want to watch Daddy do it? Here do it. Okay. Way up there. Just kind of light it up there. Locks. Power unlocks. It's fixed. We're done. Here we go. Okay. Okay, we have success.